Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I'm doing a oil change, transmission, flush, and rear and front differential on a 2010 Razor 800S. And we're gonna start, it's, it's pretty simple. Let's start with the oil change. Filter is right here. Filter's right there. The um, drain plug. I gotta take this skid plate off. The drain plug's under there. And then we fill it up. We fill it up through the, uh, we fill it up through the dipstick, believe it or not. So I'm gonna start on that. I'm gonna get that going and then I'll come back on the video, okay? So filter right here. And I'll show you where the uh, drain plug is in a second. Okay, two updates. Number one, it's a uh, six millimeter hex nut and there's a port there's a port under there you don't have to you don't have to take off it's right there you see that port right there you don't have to take off the skid plate so just get yourself an extension six millimeter hex and uh, open it up and let it drain and I'm gonna put the plug back in okay next step I would take a little brake cleaner and I would spray I would spray down in that valley and let it, uh, well, I went the wrong valley. Spray down in that valley there and clean out any oil that's, that's sitting there. Spray down in that valley. Okay, then you're gonna torque to uh, 16 foot pounds. Torque that, that hex nut back in there. And the next step is taking off the oil filter. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now the filter is a funky setup. Of course, they're tightened on too tight, so you can't get them off by hand. So you have to put your you have to put your uh, um, your filter oil filter cap on there. But you can't do it with the with a, a ratchet because this cross member is in the way. So you got to use you got to use an extension and come in from behind the seat inside the cab. You go down and put your extension on there like that, and then start start ratch, ratcheting it off. All right, I'm gonna finish up because the oil's gonna spill all over the place. Surfaces are cleaned. You're gonna have to use brake cleaner again because it dripped down into this recess here, so I'm gonna have to spray that out again. So the next time I know, but uh, right through that same hole, right where the drain plug was, okay? So the replacement filter is an AM51356, an AM51356, and that's from AMS Oil. And what we're using is uh, AMS Oil ATV UTV SAE 5 weight 50 motor oil. AMS Oil is the best stuff. So, so what we're going to do is open this up, put a little bead of, of oil around the, uh, the gasket. And put that on and i'll be right back okay so you got to lose use a long um funnel because you're going this thing is at an angle here and you're going into uh this is how you fill it up through the dipstick so to recap you need a six millimeter hex you need a shorty extension you need a torque wrench set to 16 foot pounds to put that hex nut back in when you're done you need a long extension, uh, 3 8 ratchet, and you need the, um, the cap to take off the filter. And you're doing that through the cabin. Okay, you put the filter on by hand, hand tight, as tight as can possible by hand. And you're gonna clean down in here with, like I said, with um, brake cleaner. Just brake clean, and then we're putting this oil in two quarts. All right, and that's gonna be the end of the oil service. Okay, YouTube. Here's the rear differential on the 2010 Razor 800S. All right, the, the drain, okay, you're gonna go through that, that hole in the uh, skid plate, and the drain plug is right there, okay? At the very bottom of the differential, it's a, a 13 millimeter, 
and it is a bitch to get to you're gonna have to use a uh, a box wrench you can't get you can't get a uh, a ratchet or anything in there okay and then the the uh the fill port is right there the fill port is a bitch to get to too you're gonna have to use a a wobble socket and it's it's a a three-eighths box head Let me get this out uh it's a three-eighths box head so you put your uh wobble socket in there and then you just you just put an extension well you know you know what i'm talking about you just put that in there and then you're gonna have to break it loose and then you're gonna have to do it by hand because this bar right here gets this bar here gets in the way uh with the ratchet once it starts coming out a little ways okay so i'm just letting it drain right now and then we're gonna fill it back up we fill it uh, till it weeps out of that hole. Once it starts weeping, we close up the port. There's no measuring or anything like that. Make sure you're on level ground. I'm on a bit of an in, um, a decline, so I had to put a block, a, um, a two by uh, two by six under the rear tire to bring the uh, the, the uh, side by side level. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up now. We've got the we've got the the uh, inspection port and the uh, fill port back in and I got the, the lower one back on and I've already cleaned with uh, brake cleaner. Okay, this is the stuff we're putting back there. AMS oil, ATV, UTV, transmission and differential fluid. Okay, and uh, you can't get it, you can't, even though this is a squeeze bottle, you can't get that, that nose in there. It's all the way back there. So you have to have one of these. You gotta have one of these. And this screws on the top here, screws on the top, and then you can twist, you twist it open, twist it open, and twist it closed, and then you just squeeze the, squeeze the bag, and you fill it up until it starts weeping out, and then you put that back on there, and that's the rear differential. The front differential is going to be the same thing with uh, a lot less fluid. I think this one took like 24 or 26 ounces. So almost a full quart, but not quite. Um, the front, I think, takes like eight or 10. So I'm gonna do the front, and uh, I'm not gonna film that one. It's Just think of it as the same. You're gonna remove that, that port, um, that uh, drain plug down there. Open this up so it can breathe. Let it drain all the way out. Put that back on, that's a 13 millimeter. This uses the uh, box head of a 3 8 ratchet. Um, you're going to squeeze this bottle in there all the way till it starts weeping out. And then you just put that back in as fast as you can. And that's it. Same for the front. All right, I'm going to go do the front. And the transmission. This had me going for a loop for a little bit, so that's why I'm going to film this and show you guys. Okay, you see here, there's a fill port. Let me turn my light on again. There's a fill port right there, right? And then there's a fill port. There's a fill port right back there. I don't know if you can see it. See it? Right there. Okay. One, two. Then there's a drain plug there. And there's a drain plug underneath that's leaking still. Right there. See it dripping? Plug there, plug there, plug here, plug there. Well, it turns out that one is the transfer case. And one is the transmission, all in the same case, okay? We got two plugs and two, two drain plugs, two fill plugs. So normal procedures, you put your squeeze bottle in there and you squeeze that thing up till it starts weeping out. Same thing for back there. This one was actually empty. I don't think they did that one because they didn't know what that was. This one was not full all the way, but it was semi-full. But this one, I have to jiggle it around a little bit. No, it's pretty, pretty empty now. The other one is draining still a little bit. But anyhow, okay, so I'm gonna fill them up. But uh, I thought that would be uh, interesting to let you guys know that they're both together, the transfer case and the transmission, all on the same casing, just at different ends different ends and the plugs are in different places. Okay. All right. I'm going to fill them up and then I'll come back on. Okay. Everything's buttoned back up. The 
we've got the drain plugs, or rather the, uh, the fill plugs, and the weeping, weeping fill plugs filled. Drain plugs are in, and they're not leaking. I'm not gonna lie to you, that plug back there and this plug here, that's no joke. That took me about 20 minutes to get those bad boys in. They are not easy to do. So then you, you just take your fluid and you fill it up till it starts weeping out. And then you close them off on both of them. So that's, we did um, oil change and oil filter. We did rear differential. We did front differential. We did transmission and we did transfer case. So we did five services and uh, pretty easy, a lot of fluids, but uh, pretty easy and straightforward. Now this, this uh, razor has all new fluids except for the uh, brake fluid and the antifreeze, but everything else, all, all the drive fluids are brand new. So that's it. Mike Machines out.